I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Congressman Thomas Massey decried red flag laws on the House floor Thursday. Massey claimed that, quote, everyone wants to stop mass public shooters, but we haven't previously punished people merely on the basis of a hunch, and we shouldn't start now. The Kentucky lawmaker echoed other Republicans' concerns that red flag laws would take away due process. Democrats, on the other hand, believe this measure is a step to curb gun violence. Listen in for Congressman Massey's full remarks. Nice. Here we go. Two minutes to the gentleman from uh, Kentucky, Mr. Massey. Gentleman from Kentucky is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman from Ohio. Everyone wants to stop mass public shooters, but we haven't previously punished people merely on the basis of a hunch, and we shouldn't start now. Stopping future crimes doesn't work in the movies, and it doesn't work in real life. What can work is providing mental health care and counseling those, to those who need it. If people truly pose a clear danger to themselves or others, they should be confined to a mental health facility. Simply denying them the legal right to buy a gun isn't a serious remedy. Actually, it's already possible to take a dangerous person's guns away. But Democrats are completely ignoring involuntary commitment laws that are on the books in all 50 states presently known as the Baker Act in Florida or the 5150 Code in California. These laws are different than the ones that are proposed today in one very important aspect. They involve due process. What's the difference? In the existing uh, involuntary commitment laws known as Baker Act, there's a mental health care expert involved. There's no such thing in the red flag laws. There's the ability to challenge your your accuser to have a, a, a day in court before your rights are deprived. There's no such opportunity you, in the red flag laws. You get a, an attorney appointed to you if you can't afford it. No such thing in the red flag laws in many of the states. And there's pre-dawn raids that endanger the lives, not just of the person we're worried about, but of the officers who are tasked with carrying out the raid. Red flag laws could actually increase the rate of homicide and suicide, simply talking to other people about your health care issues and your mental health could help you overcome it, but people will be reluctant to do that if red flag laws are in place. Red flag laws have already created thousands of second-class citizens who, don't, who no longer have the ability to purchase a firearm for defense in the states that have red flag laws. If this passes today, there will be millions of second-class citizens created in this country who've been deprived the gentleman's of due time process has expired. the Second Amendment. And I yield back. The gentleman yields. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from New York is recognized. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from